How AI will change healthcare forever. I for one welcome our new AI overlords and hope they remember me when they make my job redundant. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt, specialist pediatrician and part-time YouTuber, full-time realist. Today, we're diving into the world of AI and healthcare, what it's doing, what it could do, and whether we should be excited or terrified. Want my prediction? AI will never replace doctors, but those doctors who do use it will replace those who don't. What AI can do in healthcare? AI is already being used for clinical documentation, diagnostics, and even predicting patient outcomes. According to the New South Wales Agency for Clinical Innovation, AI tools are showing positive results in radiology, oncology, and acute care, especially in image analysis and early disease detection. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This isn't sci-fi. It's more like beta testing with the stethoscope, note taking and letter writing. Imagine finishing a consult and your notes are already done. Tools like Nuance DAX and Abridge are doing just that, transcribing and summarizing in real time. A 2024 BMJ editorial emphasized that while these tools can reduce admin time, they still require clinician oversight to ensure accuracy and context. So yes, AI can help, but it's not your new intern, yet. Accuracy and oversight. AI isn't infallible. It can hallucinate, misinterpret, or just plain miss the point. That's why the BMJ article stresses the need for systemic evaluation, technical performance, usability, and clinical impact. Think of it like a med student, promising, but you still need to check their work. Privacy and data security. Where is your patient's data going? Offshore? Encrypted? The Implementation Science Journal warns that data governance and medical legal frameworks are still catching up. Until then, transparency and opt-out options are non-negotiable. Time saving equals more face time. Less typing means more talking, more eye contact, and that's not just feel-good fluff. Early studies suggest improved patient satisfaction when clinicians are more present during consults. That's good for all of us. Public hospitals and progress. Let's be honest, big public systems are slow to adapt to new tech, but patients' expectations are evolving. If we don't adapt, we risk falling behind. AI isn't a luxury anymore, it's becoming a necessity. Junior doctors and learning. Here's the catch. If AI takes over note taking, do juniors lose a vital learning tool? Synthesizing a consult into a coherent note is a skill. But maybe AI can support learning by offering drafts that juniors refine, rather than replacing their process entirely. Scientific evidence. What do we know already? The ACI's living evidence table shows emerging benefits in diagnostic accuracy and workflow efficiency. The BMJ editorial calls for rigorous real-world evaluation before widespread adoption. And the implementation science article argues that structured ethical integration is key to success. So yes, the evidence is growing, but we're still in the early chapters. The future. How AI will change healthcare forever. Now let's talk about where all this is heading because spoiler alert, this isn't a passing trend. According to health tech experts and futurists, here's what we might see over the next decade. Personalized medicine. AI will combine genomics, lifestyle data, and clinical history to deliver tailored treatment plans. Goodbye, one size fits all. Hello, Precision Healthcare. 24 seven diagnostics. From wearable ECGs to ARCTs, diagnostics could become continuous, ambient and incredibly accurate, even before symptoms show up. But we must be careful because more information is not necessarily better information. Proactive healthcare. Faster drug development. AI platforms are already shaving years off the time to discover and test new treatments, potentially halving development timelines. Greater access globally. With half the world lacking basic medical services, AI tools could bridge clinician shortages and expand access in underserved areas. It's bold, it's big, and it's coming if we build the right infrastructure around it. AI isn't here to replace us. It's here to amplify what we do best, connect, care, and make better decisions, but only if we implement it with humanity, ethics, and evidence. So would you be comfortable with an AI doctor would you prefer more FaceTime and fewer admin delays, 
Or do you worry about losing that human touch? Let's debate it in the comments. And if you're feeling generous, smash subscribe, hit that like, and share this with your mate who still writes notes in triplicate. Overlords, assemble.